screwdriver. 10 millimeter. Paper towel. 8 millimeter. Water. Angle grinder. All right, so as you saw, we are here today in the TST operating room, otherwise known as the shop. Today it is the operating room because we are going to bring the big guns out and actually start cutting this bike into a million and five pieces. All jokes aside, we are going to be cutting this bike. Today is the day where we finally get to strip this sub tray and subframe out completely, start cutting off some of these supports and get a really good understanding and idea of how our custom seat is going to sit on this bike. Now, if you're just tuning in, this is our Yamaha MT-03, which we are going to convert into an XSR 3 that does involve modifying the subframe, getting a custom seat. We already have our tank situation, headlight, everything else is taken care of for the most part. So we're here today. This is the action packed episode that you've all been waiting on. Sparks are literally going to fly and hopefully I don't burn off my beard. So we hope you stick around. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to strip the sub tray out, remove the sub tray and actually start cutting off some of these supports that are just going to be useless. So stick around. We hope you enjoy this video and we'll catch you after the break. So everything is stripped down. As you can see in here, we literally have nothing. Uh, the only thing that's left in here is this battery retaining strap to secure the battery to the sub tray. Everything else is gutted out. All the wires are right here. The ABS delete pump, everything, everything is right here. So we are gonna make some cuts. I do wanna note that we had the tip sensor sitting back here. It was actually mounted in these two holes. We went ahead and being that we're removing this completely, we do need a place. We're gonna cut back here. We do need a place to relocate our tip sensor. Tip sensor is crucial because that cuts off the fuel should you go down on your bike. There's a little ball inside, a little leveler, that if it goes out of the set parameters, it just shuts, it cuts fuel, shuts the bike off. So that's really important. We do want to retain that function. So we're going to have to relocate that. Other than that, everything is going to stay in the same exact place. The rectifier isn't moving. Everything's good. So I think at this point, we're just about ready to grab the angle grinder again, start cutting. We're going to start by cutting off these four supports. These two are going to stay as they are holding the, the seat in place. Once we know that our seat pan is good, we may have removed these, but for now they are gonna stay in place. And then we might have to notch these off as well as these were holding the sub tray in place. We might not need those pieces anymore. So still a few questions that we need answers to. Uh, once we cut these supports, we'll get a really good idea. And then we can try and reline up our sub tray, see where we're at and take it from there. All right, so now that the big chunks are cut off, we do still have these, but these are the seat supports, so we need to retain them for now. But we got some of the big pieces of metal off. Now we can use a cutoff wheel and cut these supports off as close to the welds on the frame as possible. That way we can go ahead and use a finishing wheel once we're done to actually get this style of finish. Now obviously this will get painted once we're done. We just wanna get as close to a perfect look as possible so that when we get to the blending step of this entire process to make it look like a true uh, OEM subframe. It doesn't look like someone did it in their shop. Let's go ahead and pull out our cutting wheel and get to work. All right, so now that we've okay, gone too, ahead. Too loud, too loud. What? Too loud. Oh, too, too loud. 
I've gone ahead and I've been using the angle grinder for a while now. Now my ears are ringing. You should always wear and use proper safety equipment, which is why I have these earmuffs on now because I cannot afford to lose my hearing at such a ripe age of 29. So we're gonna go ahead. We're actually gonna make the big cut now. This is the moment of truth. Once we do this, there's kind of no going back. We are going to cut straight across using our handy dandy Sawzall. Cut straight across this subframe. That does mean we will lose our VIN back here. We have a solution for that, so don't you worry. Uh, just note, modifying a frame or a subframe may be illegal in your area, and doing so is on your own discretion. So without further ado, let me pick up my Sawzall here and get to cut in once again, while also protecting my ears. It's gonna walk a little bit. I have to continue, I'm almost through, just a few more cuts. All right, so I cut through uh, one section of the frame, subframe. Let's try and copy it on the other side. Should I just use the cutoff wheel? No, I don't think you should. No? I don't know. Did you get through? <laughs> My stomach was just shaking the whole time. <laughs> you were this close! <laughs> it's like all right, so as you can see here, we did go ahead and cut the main tube supports for the subframe, but now we need to go ahead and cut this uh, mounting plate that's underneath. This is actually where the sub tray mounts to and where the fender mounts to. So we're gonna get rid of that completely. You can see I have it taped off here. I'm gonna take the Sawzall and cut from in, out, and out. That should free this completely. We still have to do a ton of cleaning up here and uh, we're, we have a really good idea of where we need to be. So this is really awesome. I'm glad that we, Finally, this was like the craziest thing for us to do and the most nerve wracking was to actually cut this subframe because once you do it, you can't go back. So let's just continue. I have the power of God. <laughs> subframe is cut. Now it's a little uneven. I try to cut short, so that way we can go ahead and file this all down so it is the same length. You can see just from the tape, we have a few millimeters here to about an eighth of an inch here. But like I said, we did this on purpose, kind of wanted to rough it out and go on the shorter side so that we can go ahead and actually file it down to the appropriate length. I'm really happy at this point. This really did change the bike completely. We still need to adjust the suspension. We have some stuff to do with the seat. So I wanna go ahead and address that now. Here's what we're gonna do. The OEM seat obviously is a single rider seat. It latches in the front, slides in that little scoop, and then you have two of the mounting screws here. Well, we wanna get rid of that. So what we're gonna do is, uh, similar to like a DRZ style uh, seat or the FZ09, uh, the XSR line, it's gonna be on a pull cord, I think. We're gonna have a pull string here with a locking pin underneath the seat. It's still gonna utilize the front scoop, but we're going to introduce an extension piece on this just to get an idea of length. We're gonna finish cutting these supports now that we know we don't need them. So we're gonna cut these, cut these inner ones. Like I said, we have to clean all this up. We wanted to get a really good idea here and I think that gives it to us. If I can kind of vision this, we have a seat that is about that long and it's not gonna rake up super high once we adjust the suspension once we get rid of these supports. So we're gonna cut for now. I'm gonna go ahead and take some time, finish cutting off some of these bigger supports. And in the next episode of us actually modifying this, we will go ahead and actually show us polishing these uh, weld marks down so that they all look like they do on this side. Uh, and then hopefully by then we have a nice seat pan. We can take it to the upholstery shop that we're gonna uh, seek help from. They're going to lay some foam, put some nice leather on it, get us a seat. And then from there, we do need to kind of round this off, right? We need to finish off this, the rear end of this. So we're gonna go ahead, smooth that out. We're gonna add on a little extension, round it out. And from there, tail light and fender. So this is Mark from TST. Catch you guys next time. Water. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an adult human being, like. <laughs> I consume space. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh.
All right. When the big gun's out, we are actually yeah, babe. <laughs> I stripped this all down. This will probably be a two-part video where we the <laughs> series. <laughs> an amateur hour here. I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's an amateur hour. <laughs>